Well, hey there, everybody. Gaijin Guinea Pig here. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm back with 35.7, like I said I would be. Now, you know that recently I checked out their single, Futari, just the two of us, and I was a little bit late to that. So I knew that when I was reacting to that one, that Hurtful was going to release only a couple of days later, and that's where we're at right now. Here we are, Hurtful. Now, the thumbnail and the title imply that Maybe we're gonna get something a little more somber. Maybe a sad song. Maybe something ballady. I don't know. Uh, that would be interesting though, because the only songs I've heard from them so far have been very uh, fast and upbeat, very rocking. So it'll be interesting to hear maybe a different side. But hey, if they want to rock out on this one too, <laughs> I ain't mad at that. I feel like this band is just releasing singles right now, and that's totally okay with me. I've already committed to supporting them and their music on this channel. So before we get into this reaction, just a friendly reminder to like and subscribe, come find me over on Instagram, and let's get into it. 35.7, hurtful. Ooh, we might get in our feels, people. Hold on. Ooh, AC riff already, never mind. They only know one style, and that's catchy. Oh, I hear that second guitar. Brody. I love this band. I, I love them. Okay. Oh, at the goosebumps. They're so good. I think guitar is going off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 we. Wow, wow, wow. 35.7. Hurtful. Okay, it was not my slow, stripped down ballady number that I was expecting. Okay, fine. 
However, like I said, so far this group has just one lane and that is writing catchy music. All of their songs have just had these insanely good hooks. They just get right into you. Hurtful is no exception. But it also had a different feel to it too. This this had a bit of a darker brooding sort of vibe to it. Just a, a different darker energy. Oh, that makes me sound like some uh, hippie that has crystals on his shelf. Uh, that's not me. But I think you get what I'm trying to say. I'm not familiar with them enough to know them on a first name basis or anything, but the vocalist is just pushing that high range like more than ever. And what I really like about her vocals, I mentioned this in the Futari video where she sort of has these improvised little tweaks on the sentences. She doesn't have that annoying, too high default voice. Like it, it's just this perfect mid-range vocal but she can clearly take it to these higher registers and it's like, wow, like really impressive in my opinion. Second guitarist, I hear that lead just dancing throughout the entire song and it just adds a wonderful layer to the entire track. Like, and, and at the end, going off, going off. This band continues to impress me and delight me and just put a smile on my face and even some goosebumps, people. Like, I'm getting the, I'm getting feels from this stuff. I love it. 35.7, can't recommend them enough at this point. Hurtful. What did you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, but thank you so much for helping my small channel grow. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.